matchbook box kit. You will get almost everything you need to create both of these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 467894 for £49.99, plus your postage from hochanda.com, or give us a call on 01733 60 2000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic45. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. A very good morning and welcome to the one day special. My name is Fee and I'm here this morning with the lovely Natasha and boy oh boy through what is available. Uh, this is an incredible set of 21 fat quarters from the Tim Holtz uh, bundle. This is incredible, beautiful, beautiful cotton fabrics. Uh, you are getting 21 individual fat quarters. Now we have got these in the individual bundles of the seven as well and in half meters but I will warn you in advance some of the half meters have already sold out and you can only get them in the fat quarters such as the music and the, um, the oh, I'm going to call it the world map but I'm probably calling it the wrong thing. 
expedition that's it so just be warned now you have got oh my word there's so many here you have got floral you have got ticking you have got script you have got measuring tapes you have got look at that that beautiful beautiful almost like a denim blue with that gorgeous gorgeous pattern over it i mean look at this bouquet I and mean, it's stunning isn't it absolutely gorgeous there's a lot of masculine materials in there as well as the feminine that's what's so brilliant about mixing and matching them up and you were absolutely loving these last night this is the one that sold out in a half meters but you can get it now in the actual uh, one day special i mean that was my absolute favorite so oh, look how absolutely beautiful that music is isn't that gorgeous I almost want to get me get, get the piano out and have a, have a bit of a play there absolutely stunning and then Oh, the tape measure as well. And look at these, the tickets. How gorgeous, look at that. So much variety in there, whether you're quilting or whether you're doing your soft furnishings, whether you're making your pillows. Um, we've got some fantastic um, designs by Natasha, which is your tablet casing as well. And these cushions were made last night on the show by Natasha. So if you mix and match it with your own plain fabrics that you've got at home, so this is using elements of the one day special, you can see how well they come together even if you've got your plain fabrics at home as well. And this is, uh, if you want to watch the six o'clock and the eight o'clock repeat show last night, you can see that on uh, last night's show with the launch of the one day special with Natasha and Yanis. But have a little look at some more of these fabrics because they're absolutely stunning. Forgive me, I'll try and remember all the names as Meg tells me them because uh, there's so many names in there. Postcards. <laughs> there we go, the clues and what it looks like, Fee. The postcards, I mean, I mentioned script and I look at this over the bouquet of the flowers it's like vintage material isn't it isn't that gorgeous and you've got the bird's nest there as well St typical Tim Tim Holtz that kind of fusion of images and overlay of patterns you can see that on the actual bird's nest there and then the you've got the, the old numbers there and the script work and the music isn't that I mean that in itself is like a stunning artwork isn't it look at those eggs as well gorgeous now we've got an 11 pound saving and we have got that on two flexi by payments as well great for your quilting we've got a beautiful quilt in the background if you have a little look with me as we walk down the table together but look at this for the measuring tapes as well so there's a great joyous uh, mix and match there of your masculine fabrics and your female fabric not that there's calling the male or female but it is nice to have that choice if you're thinking about father's day projects for the end of June. Um, this will be dispatched on the 17th of June. This is the limited stock now. So just to flag that up for you and uh, just trying to show you as many of these as I can. And if we look at this with the ticking as well, this is memorandum with the ticking, but you can see you've got those beautiful uh, dusty blues and those beiges in there and how that ties in as well, maybe with your ticking there and the other material, absolute gorgeous, beautiful 100% cotton there. A wash and a warm wash for your quilting, like I said, or your soft furnishings, stunning. And I know Natasha's got loads of fantastic ideas because she's obviously championed this beautiful Tim Holtz collection. Um, but please, please, please don't miss out because we are already limited £34.99, two flexi by payments there. And uh, we've got an £11 saving. Like I said, it absolutely flew off the shelf there last night. So we're very, very busy for this this morning. If you want any of the seven piece collections, uh, we'll show you these on the still. So they're basically in three options in the sets of seven, but they go beautifully together anyway. This is set one and this is $26.99. Again, you get those seven fat quarters, 447184. This is set two um, and then this is set three. So if you want to have a little closer look at those on the website, please do. They're $26.99. You can choose from option one, two or three under the same uh, item number 447184. That third option is already limited, just to warn you. That third option with the ticking and uh, the postcards and the tickets there. and the, Yeah, that's already limited, just so you know. All right. Now, if you want some half meters, some of these that you can get in the fat quarters or are the seven bundles um, are available on, but not available now in the half meter. So I'll try and flag those up again. Uh, but let's show you. So this is actually uh, you can pick and mix any two for fourteen ninety nine. So this is my typewriter. So as you can see, you've got your typewriter old fashioned keys on there. You've got the advertisements there as well. Your, your crisscross the design there. That's your typewriter. And these come in half meters. Then this is Vogue. So we've got our lovely, lovely bouquet of roses there, um, newspaper headlines there, and our models, fashion models. Vogue is limited stock in those pretty pastel pinks and blues. Moving on, we then move to 
the world map. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Look at that with all the different countries on there as well. The atlas and the tickets as well for travel. That's the world map. Okay. Then we've got the franking in the gold. So literally like a franking stamping machine there on that gentle, beautiful, beautiful gold and beige background there. So that's the franking. This is Paris then, so everything Parisian. So you've got, again, fantastic mix of tickets and flowers and script work there and stamping there. So this has a Parisian feel. This is called the Paris. The, oh, then I've got, is that the newspaper one gone? I've got, nope. That's the dictionary. So lots of lovely leafs of your dictionary and set it different so it doesn't matter whether you've got it, um, which way you'd actually have that direction of your material because as you can see, the actual um, leafs of the dictionary are both upwards and acrosswards as, as it were. So it doesn't matter in terms of the direction there. So that's fantastic. Now this is my bouquet, which was so stunning on those cushions that Natasha made last night. Look at that vibrancy, isn't that beautiful? It's like an impressionistic painting sort of Monet-esque something about that, isn't there? And the daub of the actual paint there. But uh, actually that's a, obviously, you know, a stunning material there. That is your bouquet. And this is the chalk lines that go with it. I think that goes beautifully with it in terms of that blue. You've got this beautiful pattern over the top there as well, almost like stitching. This is chalk lines. Uh, then we've got the, this one is called script. There we go. Yeah, on that lovely vintage, almost like aged paper there as well. And all that gorgeous italicized writing. Then we've got botanicals. So again, almost like, almost like a Victorian Vic botanical book there. Collector's pieces there, beautiful again. Lovely mix of all the different images there. Then we have that blue ticking that I mentioned. Trying to go through as quick as I can, because I know Natasha's chomping at the bit to show you a fantastic demonstration. And uh, then we've got the eggs and the nests. I do love this. this. Is that one I held up right at the start? Do you remember in that fat quarter? All those fantastic overlaid images there. Just amazing. Then we've got the posts. Oh, the letters. The letters. So airmail. Again, non-directional. This is limited stock as well if you're picking this and you pick any two of these for $14.99. Your fantastic airmail letters and handwritten letters there. Then Oh, transportation tickets. I do love these three. Oh, I think these are just amazing, aren't they? Transportation tickets there. Again, all the different uh, directions. Then we've got our measuring tapes for the sews amongst us. That is also limited as well, just to highlight that. I'm not surprised at all. And then we've got the memorandum in the blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the memorandum. It's just such an unusual title. Um, and then we've got the dapper. That's the dapper. Very dapper indeed. And the last one is the chrysanthemum. Absolutely, look at that. That is stunning. I know you're not supposed to have any favourites, but oh, I'm quite taken with the chrysanthemum. Stunning. $14.99, any two. Some of them are already limited. Six, seven, seven, nine, four, four. We've had a sellout on the letters. Is this the one with the airmail? And I can maybe I can give that one to Natasha as well. I know she's going to do some demonstrations. That one's gone. I'll keep that one. Oh, and the tape measure, we're not surprised. That was already limited. I'm sorry, everybody. Well done. This is why you've got to be quick on your pick and mix, but you can still get those in the fat quarters in your one day special or in your mixes of the seven. Um, I think those two, ah, oh, I think they're in separate, yeah. Oh, the letters and the uh, tapes. No, they are. They're in. They're in a bundle of the seven in the fat quarters, or you can get it in the one-day special. But they are now gone in the pick and mix. And we'll show you how to do that. We've got some fantastic shot cotton on there as well. I've been learning about the warp and the weft from Natasha. I've got the right words for it now. As I've been in the past, I've always gone about the weave because I didn't know the proper words. But the, the weft is to the left, and the warp is up. Is up. Uh, so we've got some fantastic, almost like two-tone uh, material coming up as well. Um, anyway, uh, let's show you how to do the pick and mix. Fourteen and ninety-nine. Which ones? Oh, I don't know. I'm all of a dither now because I, I do love those um, transportations. I love the letters. They've they've gone. That's useful, Fiona. Uh, the eggs nests, stunning. The bouquet, amazing. Um, so much choice there, and they work so beautifully together. Add any two there for fourteen ninety nine. Pick any two half meters. Add it to your basket there, and uh, if you're a, a Chanda Freedom member, that standard delivery is already paid for. Now Natasha's got the drawstring bags on the show. Her design. She's got the fantastic tablet covers as well, uh, designs as well on the show. So do shop ahead on the web. But I am going to hand over to Natasha now. So please don't miss out. Over to you.
Ah, uh, good morning to you. Uh, so, um, I am going to need one of those shot cottons uh, for my lining. Eek! Which one? Which one? Let's go for the melon. The melon. I love the, the melon. The watermelon is just divine. Uh, so I'm basically shopping ahead already and uh, just taking it straight off the counter. But we'll, we'll talk about those shot cottons in a minute. Um, so the stowaway bag uh, was actually designed for my Natasha Makes shows by a very good friend of mine. Um, when we went into lockdown, she's like, what am I going to do? And so I've kind of been nagging her for a while to, uh, to do some designs. And so this... This bag was um, designed with her daughter in mind. So when her daughter was little, she used to take a toy with her everywhere. And, um, and, but the toy was not allowed to be in the bag uh -uh, because it couldn't breathe and it couldn't see out. So the toy always had to sit in a pocket on the outside of the bag. And trying to get a pocket big enough um, was, was troublesome. So this, is, this was made with Meg in mind. And I'm very aware we've had this on the show before, but I've never demoed it here at Ho-Chanda. So that was the idea. But actually, that pocket is big enough for ballet shoes, for water bottles. I mean, we're moving into an era now where actually we're all going to be taking water bottles with us because, you know, we don't want to share stuff elsewhere. So it is a sizable pocket for you to be able to put your water bottles in or anything like that. Uh, it might be, um, like I say, plimsolls for school bags or, you know, it, it might end up being your swimming kit, that, you know, the wet bit that goes in the outside pocket. Whatever you want. It's an incredibly versatile drawstring bag. There we go. And you will get the cord with it because sometimes that's a bit tricky to come by at the moment. <laughs> There you go. Bunny is not included. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There would be, I wouldn't be able to go home. If that rabbit was not going with me, I would not be allowed to go home. It, it's, it's Emily's. You can see it's been well loved and well traveled. And in fact, the fact the bag that it's in was her choice of fabric. The last, the last round I did round her warehouse before lockdown, she came with me and was not letting me go without bagging that fabric. So that was, that was always known as Emily's choice. Uh, so we're going to start with the pocket. Um, it's called a quilted pocket. If you wanted to put an insel bright or a, um, a kind of wadding in the middle there, then you absolutely can. So something like an insel bright or um, a thermal wadding would keep a, a drink cool. Uh, so you have that option. I'm, I'm not going to put any wadding in today. I'm just going to show you just how to quilt it. You can mark out your lines. Um, it's entirely up to you. And this is, you know, how, however you want to do it, it you, you go for it. If you want to mark out your quilting lines, then do. Uh, but I've never really done a pocket like this before. And like I say, this was Gemma's design for me. Uh, and I love that because it, it, it means that I get to see other ways of doing things. And um, the reason that she did it like this was um, so that you could, you could put wadding in and quilt it like this. Um, or... If you wanted to, um, if you're quilting here, then this folds over. You don't get any raw edges on there, but if you, it, it also means that it's not too many layers to put through your machine. So that's actually the inside of your pocket. This is the outside of your pocket. So again, lots of excuses to use glorious fabrics everywhere we go. And we're just going to do a couple of straight lines. Now you'll notice what I already have on my machine is what I call a leader. Some people call it a donkey. It has lots of different names, yeah. Um, basically, what I don't want and what will happen with, um, with any sewing machine, basically, um, is when you start, the tension needs to be taken up. And so you often will get, can you see here, um, like a bird's nest? until that tension is taken up and then and that's just that's just the end of your threads just getting clumped now you can either pull that thread hold that thread out from your sewing machine as you start um, or if you just go in with what we call a leader or, or donkey or whatever you want to call it that doesn't happen because that tension has already been taken up so that's just if that keeps happening to you uh, or if you just can't bother to hold the thread out the way then that's all good And so I'll just keep putting that in, in between, snip that one off, start again. And um, because if we're going to see the ends of those stitches in any way, and I'm just going to do a few lines, you could get really adventurous 
uh, with your quilting here. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to do one more line because I've got all my, all my little bits there. Um, and I just use a little scrap of fabric, really, to just put that in. Last one. But I just, I get asked about that quite a lot, so I just thought I would show just another way. There we go. Now. Get rid of that. What we now have is a pocket that is quilted. If we, like I say, if you'd wanted to put anything in there um, in terms of wadding, then you could do. Now, you've got options with the pocket. You can just use that edge and press if you want to double that under so that you don't have any raw edges anyway, then you can. But basically when that goes onto the bag, all those raw edges are encapsulated. And just use the fabric there as your guide just to sort of knock back there. Like I say, if you want to be really pernickety and not have any, any raw edges. But also because I quilted off to the end, you won't, you won't see... any of those there and then we will be attaching this to the outside of our bag now the dimensions of the bag are 20 inches by 30 now 20 inches is basically around or about a half a meter okay so if you get your fabric and it's cut slightly wonky or anything like that don't worry just trim it back down to the nearest the nearest thing that you've got but make sure that you use that same amount um, Gemma said 20 inches because I always cut my fabrics um, to 20 inches so that's why she went with that but you know different people cut slightly differently right okay so we will then attach that onto the outer of the bag and this is going to be da -da 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 -da. Ooh, the <laughs> Ooh. Uh, this is the outside of my bag. Now, this is 30 inches across, and I'm going to put it up there at 4 inches, so I know that I need to come in at 15. That, then, is my middle point there. This... <laughs> This is, this is the really tricky bit with this fabric, is actually trying to see any mark on there. Um, that is my bottom part. Let me just fold that in half to find my middle bit. And then, you see I've lost my mark again, I'm like, there we go, there's my middle bit there, there, there. And then I'm just going to pin that in place and stitch, oh well, top stitch along there first and then stitch that down and along um, but have we got stock updates do we need to go oh we're all okay that's all right then just just checking i didn't want to be like chatting away too much and then oh. okay so i'm just going to top stitch that uh that top bit of the bag down right uh, 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 there is my middle bit there. So the next question, of course, is where did I put my pins? That's what we're all asking ourselves, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's all right, it's all right. I keep putting them in really safe places. Yeah, we've got those safe, but we've all got those safe places, haven't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the beauty, of course, with this fabric is that you can mix and match it, and it all works beautifully together. Um, uh, we were saying last night, uh, so the, the cushion that Fiona was showing, that was actually made with the, one of the creative grids that we had on the one o'clock hour, and I started that at one o'clock and then finished it uh, finished it uh, before the show actually um, so if you wanted to see the creative grids the scrap crazies how those were that was how that those cushions were made right so now just going to stitch the, that in place dunk 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 and that's the pocket done this is a really easy make really easy make um, and it's but this is a grown-up take on it um, 
and that's what I really love about it is that it changes so much depending on um, you know what what you what fabric you use with it now I'm just gonna start slightly off the end of my fabric let's go with a quarter of an inch seam allowance there and the reason that I'm gonna do that and I'll just stitch that in place there is that I don't know about you but I try and ram a lot in pockets my bags are all very hard wearing in which case I'm going to reinforce that part that um, that has the most wear which is where it meets the bag I've got my walking foot on not because you necessarily need it you're not going through vast amounts of layers here it's more a fact that it was on uh, yesterday for quilting and I'm kind of forgot to take it off so if you don't have a walking foot don't panic doesn't matter um, it's not the end of the world I've made these mainly without this is the first time I've actually made one with a walking foot on oh let's go for it there we go but I just did know that a lot of you bought this bag last time and I was very aware that I hadn't demoed it for you and that doesn't sit quite right with me so I was like right you guys that have bought it you need to see how to now make it um, here we go but the instructions that come with it are all full color step by step really thorough so you will be easily able to make it um, and then as I say get up to these bits I go up and over and back again a little just reinforcing over there and then off we go there we go that is your pocket back in there we go thank you Natasha yes the fantastic stowaway bag with the cord as well there Natasha's design absolutely brilliant for all sorts of uses so we're looking at the one day special which is already limited and I can say that nearly 95% is already gone so please 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 don't miss out the proven so popular 21 amazing fabrics from Tim Holtz 21 fat quarters and already I can say that one two three four five of these and the half meters have already sold out so the only way you're going to get these is in the one day special or in, or in their individual groups of seven so let's have a little look for instance the world map there that um, Natasha is using absolutely stunning that one in the half meters is sold out but you can still get it there in the one day special you've got some fantastic masculine fabrics as well as feminine and jewel I mean this one as well is sold out in the half day half meters this is the symphony beautiful as has um, I'm not just going to show you all the ones that have sold out in the half meters but they've proven very very popular look at this one the aqua has as well beautiful isn't it and uh, you've got this layering up of images and script work and the postcards I know is gone but you can still get it in the one day special as has that fantastic uh, tape measure uh, material there as well so there's some lovely lovely masculine designs as well as feminine and 100% cotton whether you're doing your um, quilting or your stowaway bags or your cushions I mean I love this look at this for the typewriter this is absolutely idyllic isn't that I mean look at that layering up and because it's non-directional you know you can have it whichever way you know you don't have to have it upwards or uh, sideways so absolutely fantastic you could fussy cut some of the individual bits as well fantastic as if you were doing your scrapbooking you know and you wanted to layer up those different textures we've got the the actual um, dictionary print there as well a few of my favorites we've got the vintage letter writing there next to it um, oh what do we call that one the chalk lines that's it look at the tickets there as well aren't they fantastic they've uh, oh, I think they're still available in the half meter you've got look at this you see this is typical Tim Holtz stunning the material is so beautiful so many different I mean look at that the detail the the eggs the, the vintage eggs the, the the music in the background the the italic writing the botanical images I mean, it's just a feast for the eyes. You look into it and then there's more and more and more to see. So beautiful. And in each one, a huge fat quarter. What would you do with these fantastic projects? Now, 95% has gone. So please, please, please don't miss out. These were the cushions that Natasha just referred to. Now, if you want to watch that on Rewind last night when Natasha launched with Yanis, 6 and 8 o'clock. But if you mix and match them with your play materials or other materials you've got at home, they're so, 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 so versatile. And we've got some lovely shot cotton on the show as well, which you could use. Beautiful. 
beautiful cushions there as well. You're going to see the magnificent quilt as well, which is stunning. So this is dispatched from the 17th of June. We've got it on two flexi-buy payments of 34.99. 95% of stock's already gone. Please, please, please don't miss out. It's working out at three pounds 33 a fat quarter. 845270. Oh, this is the quilt. Now I asked Natasha, did she make this? She said she fessed up. She said she didn't, but we loved it because we just thought it had a lovely sort of masculine feel. And I thought it had a such a modern feel in terms of quilting, isn't it? All those individual elements there. So, 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 so beautiful, isn't it? Fantastic. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous quilt there to give you some ideas in terms of those fat quarters. But it is limited, so please, please, please don't miss out. If you want the half meters of which some of these have already sold out, I can name five already, so please don't miss out. It's a pick and mix. You pick any two for $14.99. This is your typewriter. So you've got the old keys there, the typewriter itself, uh, different script work there as well. Half the stock of that one has gone. Then we've got our Vogue. So our two and six, our old uh, money before decimalization, and our ladies there, almost like images from Vogue. Well, that's gone. Oh, I mean, we wish we were on about that one. Sold out. Sorry, put that one away for Natasha to demonstrate with, maybe. Uh, so that's only now available in the Fat Quarters or your groups of seven. So then we've got our world map. Beautiful. Yeah, the other world map, the vintage you one, uh, that sold out. So this is an alternative. This is three quarters gone, proving very popular. Moving on. Franking in the gold. Oh, that's the franking in the gold. I've missed, there's one there we haven't talked about. That's the franking in the gold. I know that because it's got the, uh, the obviously the, the franking on the, on, on the actual gold. There's the clue, Fiona. So the one I just skipped over there, uh, Parisian. Yes, all things Parisian. I should have got that from the Francais, uh, from the writing there. Beautiful, isn't it? And then you can see how that would go with the franking in gold because you've got those colours there, those tones that go so beautifully together. This is also fantastic about the material. Then we've got our dictionary script. Again, you can see that, definitions of different words, torn out pages. I love that. Love, love, love that one. 80% has gone. That doesn't surprise me at all. If you were doing those cushions with your little secret pocket there for your book, I love those book cushions. Then the bouquet. Look at the vibrancy. It's like looking at a Monet, isn't it? Oh, my word. It's, it's like something from the Tate Gallery. Stunning. Then we've got our chalk lines with that fabulous stitched pattern on there and that sort of fading and that darker dye of the material then it's almost like the vintage script yeah isn't that beautiful oh no i'm not surprised another one of my favorites shall i take it away technically sold out oh well done don't forget to check out your basket that's technically sold out otherwise it'll bounce back and you won't have that lovely gorgeousness uh moving on botanicals oh look at those pinks look how you could match these up doesn't that go well with our bouquet as well then we've got our ticking like that a lot ticking's great isn't it to mix in with loads of different fabrics uh lovely on the back of cushions as well just it's just so tasteful and elegant isn't it then oh there's something about the eggs and the nests i mean it's just tim holtz all over isn't it just gorgeous um then we've got by transportation tickets, I can't see that lasting long either. Proved very, very popular, all the different tickets there. Then we've got our memorandum. You see that with your, what was that blue one called again that I keep forgetting? With the stitching on it. Yeah, the chalk lines, that would look gorgeous. But it looks beautiful with the dapper. And then look at this one, this last but not least, that's the dapper. And look at that. Oh my word, I mean, heaven, isn't it? Look at this for a bit of gorgeousness. I think, is it, did we say it was 44 across by half a meter? 44 inches. Right, cotton, 100% cotton. 100% cotton. Wash on a warm wash, wash on tumble a warm, dry low. And dry on a low. I'll get it all from Natasha there. Uh, so that was half a metre by 44. Gorgeous. Yeah, fantastic. Love, love, love that. Beautiful. That's one of my favourites as well. I think that's going to be gone soon. Now, we mentioned the shot cotton, and I know um, Natasha's going to talk more about this um, because she was educating me on my weft and me warp, warp. Um, because I think the best one to show you is probably this. If we look at it on the, uh, it's almost like a teal colour. Um, can you see it's almost like a two-tone colour there? So my warp thread is different to my weft thread. So that when Natasha explained to me, if you can see there, you'll know this because you're so, as I'm a novice. Um, but can you see there, you've got your different colour on the warp to the weft. So it almost gives a shimmer effect, almost like a two-tone effect. So we've got, it's 100, again, 100% cotton, just so beautiful and lightweight. Um, 
but ah, I, I reckon that would keep you really cool in the summer, but really warm in the, in, in the winter. Um, so this first one is called Thunder in the Dark Navy. That is limited. It goes so beautifully with so many of the fabrics that we've seen. Uh, Natasha stole the watermelon. If you like the watermelon, yeah, yeah. that's coming up with Natasha in a I bit. like to say permanently borrowed. Permanently <laughs> borrowed, not stole. I know, that was a bit mean of me, wasn't it? <laughs> borrowed for a lovely demonstration. Permanently borrowed for a lovely demonstration. So the watermelon is a, is a feature as well. This one is called Rust. It's like burnt sienna, isn't it? Lovely Tuscan burnt sienna. Then this is tobacco, which I would call okra. Tobacco. Yeah. Then... Pewter, which for me is a bit more of a khaki with a sort of a steely blue running through it. But can you see that? Look at that. It's almost like a gold. Can you see that, that effect when that material ripples? That's what's so beautiful about the shot cotton. The pewter's limited, by the way. Uh, and then I think this, oh, look at that bronze sheen. It's like when you see those metallic cars with the two-tone, isn't it? It's just beautiful, isn't it? That, that purple with that bronze overlay, stunning. And then my favourite, that spruce it's called. It's not called steel, it's called teal, it's called spruce. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, just move it in that light, it's gorgeous. And then my last one is dill, like the herb. Lovely dill. Oh, I'll tell you what, the feel of this is so gorgeous. And now they're fifteen ninety nine. a pick and mix for any two. Don't forget some of those are limited, 158457. And we have the watermelon, which you'll see in a moment with the lovely Natasha. I want to point out her fantastic tablet design because if you're like me, everybody at home, we all have different tablets. And sometimes when you buy the cases to go with them, then you upgrade or buy a new one. It never fits, does it? It's almost like they would do that on purpose to make you buy another one, don't they? It's like your phone cases. Urgh, it's so irksome. So Natasha's come up with a brilliant idea of design your own any size tablet cover and it's just, this instructions are, are amazing look at this full color uh, comprehensive instructions I mean look at that detail for someone like myself that's what I need I like the visual and it's not I'm not overloaded that is it step by step like as if Natasha were with you guiding you through it by hand and your color choice of the, the binding there as well so we've got the dark gray the light grey or the navy that comes with the patterns. You choose which one you went. What's the length of that binding? Three um, metres. Two metres. Three. Three. Three, three metres. Because me. um, anybody, any size. I mean, I, I started oh, yes. doing uh, the tablet uh, covers and then ended up making one for my laptop, which obviously then used more. And if you want to do a binding on the spine on the outside, then you can. Basically, it's going to, um, it, it's just going to give you any kind of, any kind of option that you've got. There we go, which is fantastic. And then look at how that gives that lovely professional finish on the inside. And then even the little elasticated corners to hold yeah, it in so place. So I would normally use a, a thicker elastic, but it fell out in the car on the oh. way here. So um, I had to fight with some thin elastic. Use thicker elastic um, is what I would say. That's basically the same one that we, yeah. So and we then just do... different, different sizes. Yeah. And then that's we're using a sort of a Velcro tab. Yeah, you that's know. your proper, that's your proper elastic. There we go, proper yeah. elastic. She likes that one better. But you can also adapt it, can't we? And you showed us how to, uh, maybe a little mini wallet as well. Again, if you think about those materials we've got so, to show. So use this with leather. If you're okay about using leather, use it with leather. It looks oh, divine. Doesn't it? You know, chop up an old handbag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How many times do we just, uh, they just get thrown aside, don't they? Or... You know, when they go, the handbags just get... Just I had a glue a incident spillage <gasps> on the inside of a lovely leather handbag. So, uh, yeah, that then got upcycled into other things, other smaller essential items. Yeah. Giving it new life. Yeah, yeah, No yeah. waste, I Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Now, that one's got a pocket on the outside so that um, I can put earphones and stuff in if I want to. That's my... That's just a... And I didn't pad that particularly heavily. That just needed to, to just hold my laptop for when I come into work. Fantastic. And that's the joy about these designs, Natasha. It's the fact that any size, you can adapt this pattern for any size. Because let's face it, they're all different sizes and shapes. Um, and uh, it's going to be quite costly when you're trying to buy all the covers. But now you can design your own and uh, have all that fantastic binding as well. Three meters there in the three choices of color there. 999 Um our sto oh, but also uh, this cheeky little, this cheeky little number, oh, sandalwood and a buckwheat and sandalwood. Buckwheat and sandalwood. Yeah. Oh, a cheeky little um, pad holder, as it were. 
It's almost like it, or you could, you could adapt that, couldn't you? Um, it's not the stowaway bag. I'm just showing you what Natasha made out of the material because it's just so beautiful. But to hold a, your, your iPad in, in position if you're thinking of Father's Day gifts. Um, or do you know what? Even like a bury little doorstop. Bury it in there, Fiona. You've got to really got to just really bury, bury it in there. There we go. To get it at the it angle that you want. It I until I moved it. Did you notice that? <laughs> I have this effect. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's fine. I'm going to make you one so that you get used to using it. But honestly, just seesaw it in. Yeah. I've not got the knack, have I? No. It was fine until I touched it, <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> My six-year-old has numerous of these, and, and I've Can never use it better than seen I, there it. There we go. I've there got there in the go. end. It was worth the wait. <laughs> She's distressed in the corner now. Right, I know. <laughs> we made that last night, by the way. We made one last night. There we go. Was that in the 8 o'clock or the 6 o'clock show? Uh, it was the 8 o'clock in the last five minutes. That's how quick they are to make. Oh, my word. There we mm. go. Five minutes. You need to get your uh, your fabric uh, from the show and then watch it on Rewind in the 8 o'clock show last night. Last but not least, 233760. The fantastic stowaway bags, the duffel bags, the drawstring bags. You get your drawstring and you get the fantastic, um, beautiful, again, instructions. Uh, Natasha's design and uh, made as she explained because her daughter didn't like you know the, 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 the teddy being stuffed in the bag because then he can't breathe or if you're like my little girl you know she can't sleep without her favorite toy and that also gives you the reminder that he's there not that that that, not that, that lovely deep set pocket is just for that it could be you know the swim bag for the goggles it could be the overnight bag make sure the toothbrush is in there it, it could be your gym bag I mean so many different ways in which we can use the duffel bag oh yeah gym yeah no, not my gin bag, not G-I-N-G. -G. I'm not sure you could open. put a bottle of gin in the pocket. Well, I mean, no one exactly. would judge. I'm We're not a judging type channel. Woman after my own heart, make it the gin bag, exactly. Uh, <laughs> 999 233760. And that's what Natasha was showing us earlier with the quilted pocket. And I've also, don't forget, got that dry eye and that Natasha was using on the show. Let's have a look at the Sunday Savers and we'll go straight back to Natasha. We are getting limited as well on that one day special, so please don't miss out. Oh, I love the needles. Where are we at with those knitting needles? Are they gone now, the bamboo knitting needles? Are they still? I thought they'd be gone by now. They are amazing. You get two different choices. That's the summer and we've got the handmade. They range from, uh, was down to three, six to three, don't they, in sizes? And you've got eight. Oh, there we go, 2.75 to 5.5. There we go. Why well, make it up? It's on the screen, Fiona. And you get, I think you get eight sets in there. Beautiful. That's the, the handmade one with the bumblebees. Oh, yeah, we've got the fantastic threads there. Natasha makes the polyester threads now. The contents may vary, but you're guaranteed 1,000 metres on each. So that's 10,000 in total. 9.99. Fantastic strong polyester there. 9.90565. And then we've also got a fabric bundle on there from... The uh, Mill Shop Online. Oh, I was after this. This is what I was talking about this morning. That cream is that lovely uh, uh, cream denim. Is the best way I can explain. So it's got that bit of give in it, and then you've got that beautiful top, and then that. It's almost that cotton uh, check is almost like a. It feels like a really soft flannel, but it is cotton. Ten ninety nine, five five four, three eight nine. You get half a meter of each of those. £19 saving. Amazing. All right, uh, Natasha. The one day special has proven very popular. So uh, let's go straight back to Natasha. Do you know, I can't help but think how beautifully the Mill Shop Online fabrics would go with this, wouldn't they? They would just, it's all about having that stash. It's all about building up that stash. Uh, right, so we're going to use the shot cotton, uh, the watermelon uh, for the lining. And I just wanted, to, Fiona touched upon this. I just wanted to show you again. So this, this is the selvage that I've just cut off. And you can see this is, um, this is the bit that would be attached onto onto the onto the loom and you can see that that is pink you can see that's a different color to the rest of the fabric so that's one of the colors that you've got and then woven through can you see is that orange i don't know how close we can get on there so you've got that pink there that's one of the colors in there and then if you pull these out you can start to really see it is like a sunset there you go that and that's they're the different two colors that blended together give you this beautiful watermelon color and that's that's how uh, they're composed and and Kaif, when he works with color he had to learn because he is an artist primarily uh, so when he came across to fabrics he had to learn how to color mix with fabric with thread effectively 
Um, now, I often get asked, Natasha, if you don't have fancy schmancy stripology rulers and stuff like that, how am I actually going to cut out your fabric? And as soon as you go over the, the length of, of a stripology ruler, then you're going to have to go back to your old-fashioned quilting rulers and cutting mat situation. So I just want, you know, the old-fashioned way. So I just wanted to touch upon that for those that don't have the stripology ruler yet that we had on the show yesterday. Um, so this is going to be 30 inches in length. Okay, so I'm going to... I've already cut it, I've used my stripology to cut it to, to the width, and now I, I want this, um, to the height rather, now I want this width. So basically I'm going to use the edge of my mat and then use one of these lines along here so that I've got that, um, I've got that right angle and everything lines up beautifully. Then I find my 30 inch line over here, I use my quilting ruler, and this is why you, you need the 24 and a half inch ruler because <laughs> it's such a useful one to have and I'm just going to I've got a nick in my blade and I forgot to bring any new ones so it's not cutting first time there we go and that is your fabric for your lining I'm going to fold that in half because there are some um, there's just a couple of little measurements that I need to make on this <clears throat> Uh, here's my ruler. And I did highlight them for easy reference because, you know, I had a moment of organisation. Don't get, I know, I know, I know, right? Don't get too excited. It was just a moment. That's not the end. <laughs> let's, not get, let's not get too excitable here. Um, okay, so I've got a mark down from the top. Um, an inch and a half, I believe. Yes, I have. And this is the beauty about uh, your Creative Grids rulers. With a normal ruler, I would be having to look at the inch mark and then go, is that the half bit? No, 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 no. With, with your creative grids, the black line there uh, gives you your inch and a half markings all the way along. It's just fabulous. Then I need to mark three quarters of an inch, which is to there. Why am I doing this? Well, why am I? Do I don't know. Why am I doing anything? Um, because uh, this is going to be the channel that the, uh, the, the cord is going to go through. Okay, so I'm not going to sew. I'm going to mark this with pins because otherwise I know what will happen is I will be chatting and I will just ignore it and sew all the way down. It's happened numerous times, let me tell you. Um, there we go. And I will mark that as well on the outer. So basically what I do to the outer, I'm going to do to the inner uh, so that I have two pretty much identical pieces. Now the only thing... And the last time I demoed this, I completely forgot about it. I need a little tab to um, attach my, um, my cord to when it comes through. So what I will do is get a little, a little length. It doesn't have to be much. Now, this is effectively how you would make, um, it's how you would make your own binding if you wanted to make your own binding. Fold in half. When we do anything like this, we're trying to avoid having any of this. Now, because um, fabric is woven, obviously, you will always get a bit of fray, and that's normal. But we don't have to see it. So we then fold into that middle line that we've just pressed. And then again, fold into that middle line that we've pressed. So you can make yourself any size binding like this and if you cut this strip of fabric on a 45 degree angle through your fabric then you've got yourself bias binding which is the the stuff that will stretch around corners but if you're just doing a quilt or something and binding with just a normal quilt then you can get away with just straight line binding okay so I'm gonna just stitch a line down there and then that will be can you see I won't have any raw edges on that it'll all be encapsulated beautifully beautifully um, so, ba, 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 ba. down we go. Oh, it's got a bit of a wriggle on. I've just been given a time update. Okay. Now I don't need all of all of that. I can save it for another uh, another bag. I just need enough uh, to make a little loop uh, there. For uh, for my uh, for my my fabric to go through, so 
my cord rather. So I'm just going to put that somewhere down the bottom, towards the bottom of my bag. That's personal choice, quite frankly. Um, I will just pin that. God, I'm getting really pinny today, aren't I? That's very unusual behaviour. Um, obviously now I can't actually open my pin box. There we go. And then all we will do is stitch all the way around this outside of the bag. Okay, and then we'll do the same with the lining. And then we can get on to its full construction. Now, um, in the instructions, it does give you a seam allowance to go to. What I would say to you is, if you want to use those uh, that seam allowance, do. Hurrah, fabulous. If you want to use a different one, do, but be consistent. That is the key. Just be consistent with whatever you use. Uh, now, I'm just going to cut that and then jump so that I've remembered to keep my channel. Yay! Go me! Uh, actually remembered. And then just do three little stitches again just to hold and then we're going to whiz, super whizzing down here. Um, right and then slowly over this bit if you want to go again this is going to be a bit that is going to be used and used and used and come under pressure so go back and forth over where that little tab is down to there spin it around Meg, there's still a lot to do on this bag, so if you want to do, we can finish this off next hour. If you would like to, we can absolutely do that. If you wanted to, there's, there we go. So I will just repeat exactly the same on the lining of the bag. Exactly the same. There you go. I'll do that while Fiona talks about beautiful fabrics <laughs> okay lovely thank you natasha thank you so we'll have an update on the, on the stowaway bag that natasha was just doing then when we're with you again at uh, 10 o'clock so i think i've frightened everybody about the limited availability of 10 o'clock 12 o'clock what are we on again 12. I don't know, I'm coming to go in. You don't want to be, it's all early to me. Uh, the stowaway bag. So we'll, we'll continue that fantastic project with the pocket in the front. Now, I think I frightened everybody because we were down to limited. We still have some availability of our fantastic one day special. We frightened everybody into thinking that, they, that there's none left. There is, but I'm down to single figure. So I don't want you to miss out because it really is as beautiful and as glorious as it looks. You are getting 21 amazing fat quarters. You are getting the, uh, the dictionary. You are getting the fantastic um, typewriter material. You are getting the Parisian. You are getting the franking. You are getting the map, the vintage map that Natasha was just using uh, earlier on as well on the stowaway bag. You are getting that fantastic, oh, look at that music. It's so beautiful. Now, those two, the world map there and this one, they've sold out on the half meters. So many of them have. So you can now only get them either in their groups of seven or... You can, which I think is 24.99, or you can get the whole of the fat quarters. I mean, look at this. This is the bird's nest. I oh, sorry, 26.99 for a group of seven. But you honestly, you'll be hard pushed to choose. Have all 21. Beautiful soft cotton. Wash on a uh, on a on a, on a well, dry on a low and, and wash on a medium to low there for your quilting projects for your fantastic uh, cushions they go beautiful with the plain fabrics you've got tickets you've got dapper you've got ticking you've got look at this this one sold out in half meters that fantastic tape measure there as have the postcards I mean there's just such fantastic variety for you know the male and the female there for so many fa exciting projects i mean look at how it mixes and matches this was done last night by natasha as was that fantastic little uh, sandalwood bag there for holding your ipads and your tablets and other tablets are available uh, but look how beautiful that goes so many so many different variations and you can see that being made last night as well so watch and rewind two flexi by payments of 34.99 on to my half meters now so many of these are sold out but i still have some fantastic in the collection this is the typewriter so as you can see the typewriter element there as well lovely pastel blues and beiges then you've got the world map but with sort of pinker tones because the vintage one sold out. Then we've got the Prisian, 
So French elements of postcards and roses and French writing. Then we've got the franking and the gold. Large franking stamps there on that fantastic gold. Then we've got the dictionary. Now that was getting limited a moment ago, so please don't miss out. You pick any two half meters for 14.99. 85% of the dictionary is gone. Then that fantastic bouquet. Ah, oh, I keep saying Monet because that's what it looks like. Chalk lines I can never remember the name of, but you keep getting that lovely shading, almost like tie-dye, with the fantastic stitching chevrons there. Then the botanicals. I mean, look at the botanicals. Also 85% gone. I mean, it's just glorious, isn't it? Then we've got our ticking. So elegant, isn't it? On, 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 on Within fabrics, but also on the back of cushions and what have you. Then we've got our eggs. Eggs in the nests. Beautiful. Then we've got our... Oh, the transportation tickets, I adore that. Then we've got our memorandum. Then we've got our dapper. And last but not least, chrysanthemum. Oh, you think I remember that? I love the chrysanthemum. So pick any two for 14 99 I've also got a stock update on that lovely shot uh, K facet fabric as well. 44 by a half a metre. This is Thunder Limited. You get that two-way colour there. This is your rust this is your tobacco the okra that is limited as is the pewter can you see that two-tone effect there and look at that oh my word it's almost like there's a bronze on there that's what the bronze is with the purple and then i keep calling it teal but it's not spruce not Bruce, spruce. And you can see that two colour there and that lovely dill. Don't they look beautiful together? Don't forget the watermelon is still available. You pick any two of those for 15.99.158.457. Father's Day. Come on now. This is brilliant. Look at this lovely quilt over to behind me as well as I move over. Any size tablet, you can make a wallet as well. Your uh, your your uh, laptops even. You get that fantastic uh Simple instructions, beautiful colour instructions from Natasha. And you get three metres of your choice of the charcoal, the light grey or the navy on the binding. Three metres so that whatever your size tablet, you can adapt. Because let's face it, they all come in different shapes and sizes when you upgrade and pass it on to the next, you know, onto your child or whatever. There's always ones that never fit the new case. So beautiful. And you can uh, pad that out, quilt it or use a magnetic clasp or um, Velcro, it's up to you. So 999-198-967. This was made last night, that lovely, I'm not gonna move it. Well, I will, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Uh, filled with fantastic sandalwood, oh, it smells amazing. So yeah, this was made last night out of the beautiful material on the show there. So uh, uh, have a little look. Uh, oh, and an update on the seven day savers. Mills Shop Online, oh no, I wanted that beige denim. Uh, Mills Shop Online has sold out. Mills Shop Online has sold out, so whatever you do, sorry. I said that was going to sell out. That and the bamboo knitting needles, I was convinced. Um, now, my stowaway bag as well, and we've got the dry iron on the show, so do shop ahead. Fantastic. Oh, I've left my lovely bunny over there. Um, but it's not just for storing bunny. If he's, you know, you don't want to put him in the bag, you might have your swim bag and your goggles in there. Or we were talking about gym GIM. I was talking about the gym GYM. Uh, you might have just, you know, your PE kit in there. Um, anything really. Overnight bag. Maybe you've just got just the uh, knitting bag, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter what's so great about it is you get the cord, you get the fantastic pattern, the quilting uh, deep pocket there at the front as well. This is what Natasha's making and she'll be uh, resuming that at 12 o'clock today as well. Lovely in the stylish fabric, isn't it? 999 I'm going to say a big thank you to Natasha. Uh, thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you at 12. So what are we going to oh. do at 12, darling? We're going to finish off the bag. Look, we're so close to finishing this bag now. We're going to finish off the bag. And, uh, and then, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I've got a couple of hours, right? I think she's got a couple of hours. She can rustle up so many different projects in a couple of hours. There'll be, there'll be another quilt behind me in a couple well, of hours. At least three. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, how brilliant is this? It's gorgeous. We love this quilt. But see, it's using elements of the one day special. Now, there is some availability still. I don't want to frighten you because it was flying off the shelves. So please don't miss out. Don't forget to check out your baskets. It really is worth it. Beautiful. Dispatched on the 17th of June. Uh, we are back at 12 o'clock with the lovely Natasha and some more fun fantastic projects. We'll finish off that lovely stowaway bag. Uh, but there's still more plenty to see this morning on her chamber.
Yes, we're introducing Rita, Rita. And then we're going to have a craft treat uh, with the lovely Joe Channon. And then we'll be back uh, for more Sakura with Hayley. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art Stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda.
Hello there and welcome back. We always get excited here at Achanda. Okay, when we've got a new supplier, as you can see there on our screen, that's exactly what we are bringing to you in the next hour. Brand new company called Rita Rita, uh, with Spanish heritage, which I'm really looking forward to learning more about. And of course, as soon as we hear that word Spain, we instantly think of our fabulous Paula. Paula's going to be here guesting for this hour. I'm going to kind of sit on the sidelines and learn a lot, I am sure, because of course she's one of our fabulous presenters here as well. So I think it's only right that I hand over over to our lovely Paula and she takes over from here. So Paula, over to you. Well, thank you so much, Haley. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce you, well, the company that is Rita Rita, or, um, you know, we can call it as well Aluathid. Uh, Aluathid is the name of the brand of the stands, but it's also the name of a fabulous designer in Spain, in northwest Spain, in El Ferrol. Uh, and it's a city in Galicia as well. So it's I'm really, really honored to be representing this brand because I met Alua back in 2012 or something like that in Madrid in one of the shows, uh, paper craft shows, and she was so lovely and so talented. And then, of course, she started uh, her own YouTube and channel and started sharing her uh, drawings and sharing her watercolors, and people demanded her to create her own line of papers and stamps. Now, we have got today, all of course, it is brand new here to Hochanda, and we are gonna start with a beautiful set of four stamp sets. Now, as we can see, it says Rita Rita, but Aluathid is the name of the artist, but also the brand of the stamps. Now, this is a contains four sets. You're getting, uh, the one that you're seeing at the minute is Lost Boys. You can also buy them individually. So the details of the, for the bottom of, uh, for the individuals are at the bottom of the screen. Now you can say that although they are designed and made in Spain, they are English words because we worked with, uh, with Alua to make sure that everything you can use as well. There is a couple of words that later on that they appear in Spanish, but they are decorative. So they are more kind of in the background. But these ones, look at that. That one is of course the Wicked, wicked Witches. And then we have got Be Brave, which I adore. I think it's one of my favorites. And you can see the inspiration coming from some stories, but of course it's completely different rework artwork. So that is absolutely fine. And then we have got words like Be Mind, True Love. And then, oh, I love this one as well. Wonderland, isn't it just gorgeous? Uh, now you have got here the ability to color very easily. I have taken my alcohol markers more than anything uh, because I just loved them. But actually these one that we are going to start with, of course, the Wicked Witches, um, I use my pencils. So because I wanted to dress the different ones, I wanted more textured for them. Uh, I'm not the, be the world's best colorist, but I just wanted to show how you can color them in different medium, depending on how you want to use them. Then we have got, uh, I enjoy very much to do creating, of course, a shaker card, because I think they do uh, work really well with shaker cards. But you can see that a little fairy with her name Tinkerbell is inside capture in here. Now. Look how beautiful, look at the hook in here. Look at that, it's so cute. And never grow up is a trap, and I think that's such a good uh, message. Now, if you're thinking about these beautiful papers and acetates, we do have got them on the show as well, coming up next. And look at that, that's one of course the Wonderland uh, set in there. Gorgeous, I just think that they are cute, they're funny, and also they are more importantly, really easily, easily um, color. So it's some beautiful photopolymer, excellent quality. And look at that. I just love that. What about this for a wedding uh, invitation or a wedding card? And of course, our, our, um, our uh, floor manager, Kirsty, was saying how, I think it's brother or uh, somebody in her family. It was it, uh, sorry, kind of, uh, it's doing the wedding. Oh, sister. Oh, all right, sister. Anyway, so it's like kind of a, it's just doing a wedding. Anyway, so somebody she knows in the family is doing a wedding kind of thing. I, I kind of, sorry, it's too early. I did late and late. Um, it's raining the whole story. Anyway, sorry. But you can see that you can do things. But look at the wicked witches in here. Look at you can do things like that. 
let's magic make magic and I think this is as a bookmark that would be quite cool to have them loaded upside down and get lost into this books if you're under a complete collection you have got the details on the screen you are getting 52 individual stamps I use the words as well on their own for a scrapbooking and other items uh, and you have got in there all those beautiful elements so you can mix and match and create your own uh, fairy story should you wish to do that 55 pounds and 99 96 pence is of course the price for the whole bundle you have got two flexes at 27 and 98 pence and if you want to flexify then that means that of course opens a flexi basket so you can add other items in there now, should you wish to go the for individuals, we do have them on individuals, so you make sure uh, that you do that, you consider that possibility. And of course, because it's based in Spain, it's all everything is dispatched from the 7th of June. Now, this collection is incredible. It's one of those incredible collections that I fell in love as soon as I saw them. It's called Alma. Alma is sold in Spanish and it's a very reflective collection. It features beautiful girls in them. Beautiful, it features two photopolymers, well actually four because it's, it's the little ones as well in here. So you are getting, look at that beautiful script. This is what I was referencing about words in Spanish. It's beautiful script in the background. If you know a little bit of Spanish, you can read them. But if they are so they are small enough that you can bring them as background writing. It's all about, you know, for instance, there it says, my, my heart beats fast, you know, my, you know, I think of all the goodness. Look at the constellations in there. They are incredibly beautiful. You can stamp them and emboss them. Uh, it's a lot of detail, but I love as well these girls because they not only they are pensive and reflective, they are also kind of, you know, sometimes, especially I think in the last, you know, couple of months, we have been thinking about different things. And I think I really, personally, I relate a lot to, to the thoughtful process that they have got in here. You can create something like this, and this is going to be my first demo. And you can see how I use these stamps for the background, and then I have a stamp and emboss. And this beautiful acetate is included in this bundle because we are also getting, and I'm going to go through exactly what. So, uh, well, I'm going to show you as well that you are getting a bullet journal, which is a grid dot in here. Good quality, it's really good quality. And it comes as well with a little card. Look at that, how beautiful. And a beautiful bookmark as well. So it's a really good quality. Um, stuff and kind of look at that how big is that really lovely so I'm going to show you I'm going to move over here to show you exactly the pack of papers I'm going to put it into the easel because it's much easier that way so we have got in here a die cut sheet so you have got all these elements in here so the the girls pop up really easily and this is some of the projects that you can do so I just put it onto a lid of a box and then lay and of course I use one of the sentiments from the Be Brave stamp set, so everything kind of coordinates. Because I love that kind of pensive mood. Now, this is one of my all time favorite acetates, and I have to say, when I showed to uh, Leone, she was in love with it as well. How gorgeous! It's a 12 by 12 printed onto white acetate. It's, it's, oh, it's so gorgeous. So, I have, I have made bases of cards with it. It's not the thickest acetate, but it's not the thinnest one either. So, you have got perfect to make a smaller cards. Then, you have got this printed vellum. Now, again, it features words in Spanish but they are kind of a script in there so they're not too big in there you know it's just absolutely phenomenal and what can you can do is things like this and a, you know a scrapbook page maybe featuring pictures uh, and here I was in in there in Iceland so that kind of goes in around it. So you could write, a, and then of course here, these ones are the uh, die cuts that it says leave a, uh, a footprint. And of course it goes so well with this picture. This is one of the pages that you can do. Then you have got the six uh, by four uh, cards in here. Now these papers are double sided. So you have got always another option in the back. Look at that. And the paper is around, I would say 160 GSM. Uh, and you have got like it's a nice beautiful page. Now this is the, pa the paper that I use for this scrapbook page. Now this is my friend Ali and again I just featured her with a few die cuts and that was all it was. 
Then we have got the back, of course. Remember, you have got the back. Then we have got, look at that. How gorgeous are they? I mean, I'm going to go much quicker now because I'm taking my time. But uh, then you have got the printed paper as well of the Mapa Mundi, uh, of the world map. Then we have got, look at that, another girl. I love how you have got those beautiful papers. Then you have got the constellation into that soft pastel rainbow in here. And then you have got more of a plain background as well in the back. Then you have got, I love this one, the, and it, everything that you get from this. This is the star, but it's kind of the starry night. But look at that, how gorgeous is that? Look at, and I love how all the elements kind of mix and match. And they have got more ditzy prints, more bigger prints. Love that one as well. It's just, and then the the other side, how gorgeous it is. It's soft muted colors, which means that for scrapbooking, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Uh, if we, c if you can see it here, of course, the um, you know kind of different pieces of clothing because it's all about winter as well. But we can mix it up, and you don't have to use them there. And look at that, gorgeous. So you can see it, and then I'm the, this is the end, finally. Uh, you can see how much you're getting in this bundle. It's a phenomenal bundle. It's one of those bundles if you wanted something a bit different. I remember brand new here at Hochanda and really hard to find. Like, you know, one of the reasons Alua wanted to work with us was because, like, kind of, well, she is a, a Spain based company, and it's like, kind of, I, she wanted to bring her products to the UK, and what a better way to do that uh, through uh, Hochanda. £69 and 95 pence is of course the papers is four sets of stamps the uh, bullet journal as well you have got in here the acetate the die cut sheets you have got of course the vellum it's all of it is amazing now you have got a freedom price of course um, is and it's a white knot deal because you are saving more than you would be spending for your freedom membership 62 pounds and 96 pence is your price and of course that means that you can there is flexi so you can spread the cost in two interest free payments of 31 pounds and 48 pence and if you're a freedom member of course you do not pay p and p so it makes sense to become a freedom member and by the way if you are watching from spain i'll say it in spanish si veis desde españa podéis ser miembros también del free del, eh, del, 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 del equipo de no del club de, de freedom de hochanda más detalles en la página web hochanda.com uh, just just shout out in spanish because there might be there might be some spanish people watching and if, Alua, if Si estás viendo, uh, un beso enorme. I just said that if Alua is watching, a massive kiss to her. I, I cannot speak Spanish, it turns out. 696-740 is your item number. It's, of course, that bundle. Uh, I'm really excited because I can't, but it's harder than you think, go switching uh, languages. Uh, now, this, I love this one. This uh, stamp set makes me smile and really does make me smile. It features two stamp sets in here, and for 15 pounds, uh, no, that's, uh, sorry, wrong details. Uh, thing is coming up, don't worry. If you are having here seven stamps in total, you are getting Love Spring and the uh, Summer. Now, I have to say, again, it just makes me smile. That girl munching into the watermelon and the Summer, it's like, it's like, yeah, she's having a fun time. And then, of course, you have got the Love Spring in there. Now, what you can do, of course, is a beautiful stamp area card in there. Very quickly, very quickly, uh, a, a color in as well. And it's, one of those ones that if you are not a very confident color in her, this will make fabulous sense to go for. 15 pence and 99 pence is your price. 046820. Right, and then we have got uh, uh, this collection. is also one of these smiley collections. I just see them and you're thinking, oh, isn't it gorgeous? And it's the picnic collection. You are getting the 12 by 12 pad. Uh, the, it's actually pad, so it's bound on the top. And you can see that it's a massive pad. You are getting 24 uh, pages and you are getting sorry 24 of impresses uh, printed in one side and then of course you're getting 12 double-sided so you are getting 36 in total they are made in Spain they are of course asset free and linen free and they are 190 just some sorry I said before 160 is 190 but you can see some of those ones now it does feature some of the words in Spanish but I kind of love uh, well this one is actually if you're wondering it says dear spring 
thing. But it's also just kind of those words that it's nice to have. You can cover them up as well uh, with other pieces of paper in there. But, you know, you have got verano, which is summer. But most of them the feature like words even in English, sunny days and summer. So it's a mix of both languages. Uh, and of course, if you have got friends and family that live abroad, then it makes a lot of sense. And this is a little project that I made because, of course, it features those four, uh, four by four uh, panels in there. Well, four by four paper. And you can then just kind of do something like that. Can't you imagine putting pictures maybe inside here or talking about your favorite things about summer? Hidden. So it's just a quick and easy project. And then also the other thing that you can do is something like in a frame, use the die cuts because in this collection you are also getting a, a die cut. So then you can decorate it and then use this as a, as a kind of um, whiteboard. So you can then write in here whatever you just like. I need to get ice cream, obviously. Uh, then you have got also stickers in this bundle, and then you are getting the Love Spring stamp set as well. So all of it, I mean, it's a massive bundle again, but you are getting different elements. Should you wish to go for the paper part, it does come on its own if you want it. The details at the bottom of the screen. If you wanted to flexi buy it, you can, two payments of 22 pounds and 50 pence. 560514 is your item number. Why not find everything on the website because you will find the individual items and all the bundles are there remember that the individual stamps uh, you know are available should you wish to do that or maybe the pads I uh, also I haven't mentioned that there is a pad from Alma which is the the beautiful watercolor more inspired papers that you can find on its own uh, if you want it, uh, it's, it's about, I think it's, again, it's 36 sheets and they are single-sided. At uh, 48, sorry, that one is 48 and it's single-sided and you are getting two sheets of each of 24 designs. Yeah, I think that's correct. And it's 15 pounds and 99 pence. That is the price there. Right. Uh, what else we have in the show? Well, we do have, of course, don't, for, don't forget of all the other items that we have got there for you. Uh, right. Uh, can I, could I have the, yeah, I just need the, the screen there. No, the, all right. right, let's do the first demo. So I'm going to use Alma Collection. And the Alma Collection comes in with the stamps. Now, you can get them on their own, I believe, as well. But if it, I love these stamps. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of uh, watercolor card. I have a two meter size, so I, then I can always do that later. And put it onto my stamp platform, secure it with magnets. I, you can use, of course, an acrylic block. Personally, I just once that I kind of got used to, uh, of course, using an, a stamping platform, that was it. I'm gonna put her there, and then close my lid, and then gonna put, uh, I'm gonna use uh, dry fast ink because I'm not sure what I'm going to do late. Well, I, I am, but, you know, kind of, that is what I kind of do. I, unless I have an idea exactly how I'm going to color, I will go in with a hybrid ink. So therefore I can then go with watercolors or alcohol markers. Now, because it's an, uh, I'm using a platform, I can re-ink it and then do a second time. So I get a darker tone of black. Right, let's see. Let's see. Look at that. Can you see how fine those details are? I mean, it's just like the tiniest of detail. And I love even her eyelashes. It's just so cool. It's just, it's just one of really, really cool. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, let's see if I have brought it in here. Yeah. Uh, I have got these masking sheets. They are from Fix It, I believe, and they're on the website. So uh, you can then put it in here. And then what I'm going to do is gonna do gonna put it there I kind of have moved my um, my stamp but you can see it doesn't matter the position in this time it's just cutting a stamping onto the masking sheet and this has got a very low tack tape that's tacked on the back so you have it there and then what you do or what I have done is take my scissors and I have created, I cut it out and you have got a mask, a perfect mask. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take her here and you can see this thing and then place her over the top in here. 
So I'm going to do, I'm going to cut her a little bit more at the bottom. I didn't do that because I want some of the color coming in. Okay, I place her there and then like this. And that is because then I'm going to take a piece of acetate. Well, actually, I'm going to use, no, I've got to use a piece of acetate, the backing of the stamp. And this is a technique that both Leone and my friend Julie, well, Leone obviously is my friend as well, but uh, my friend, uh, Leone and uh, Julie Hickey, uh, you know, they both do it. So then I'm going to go in. Shall I go for a little bit? Oh, I'm going to go in. I just kind of want to, oh, what color shall I go? Oh, shall I go for purples? Like paints? I don't know. I'm just going to do something different. Yeah, I, th I don't know if that was going to work as well, but anyway, just going to. So what do you do is just kind of go in a little bit of color in there or oh, yellow. I'm going to go pink and orangey yellow. And by the way, I'm using sentimentally yours um, water base uh water based brush pen and then i kind of go in and then kind of just do a little bit of color there and then just kind of go in there and then so you can then make sure that you have got that element in there now that makes it a little bit of softer colors and then i'm gonna do a little bit of yellow in here spread some water and then then kind of there kind of and that is a quick and easy way of coloring in now what i'm going to do is i'm going to dab a little bit and the more that you dab it the more that the color is going to become softer so it depends how much you want to do now i want some more color in here because i want to more contrast so can, what you can do is go back and add more color here in the corner so those areas where it comes close to the image and then there is a little bit of pink and there it is and then I kind of blot it and then I should take her out and look at that can you see how she stands completely pristine now the other thing I'm but I'm gonna put it back because what I need to do is a stamp I'm gonna take the background stamp you know that beautiful script and where is my block really block and just gonna go in it doesn't matter that is um, a little bit too big the stamp for this one and it does say words like for instance uh, you know I, in my heart for instance say in mi corazón hay espacio para querer y, perdon y, y perdonar uh, y perdonar yeah uh, so it's in my heart I'm a, there is a space for lo to love and forgive uh, and it's just really nice beautiful words and then you can go in here. See, just adding that sort of soft effect in there. And then there, just kind of go in there. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put the stamp. I should have brought, brought the bigger block, shouldn't I? But when I have got the stamp platform, I always think, oh, that's enough. There we have got a little bit of words, and then there. Then we have got the other stamp set that we have got in here that features the beautiful, um, I love these uh, stars. Now, of course, if you were a little bit more um, kind of prepared than me, I would say, uh, well, not prepared, you know, at home I use embossing powders because that kind of went really well. But, uh, you know, sometimes embossing powders take a little bit of time in a room. That. This is what do I have in my stamp in there? Uh, if well, I have got um, gilding flakes uh, now, but f for the purposes of the show, I just wanted a little bit quicker. But look how gorgeous those stamps, you know. Um, now, by the way, remember that if you want the stamps individually, we do have them on the show, and the details are at the bottom of the screen. So. Oh, they are on the screen. Sorry. So they are at the. Le so if you want them, by all means, go for the stamps on their own. They are photopolymer stamps. They are beautifully, uh, qu beautiful quality, and oh, they stand so nicely, don't they? Just like that, the stars in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her out there. Look at that. I, don't, I love that. I really, really love. It. Now there is this con constellation that is a little bit like um, a crown. Right, the mask, you can reuse it, so put it back onto the packaging so it's ready to use for the next time. So I'm going to put that aside. And then the mask, I'm going to do it maybe, 
maybe the same color you know oh no so we go for pink for pink raspberry which is my favorite color uh, from this dress one well, the favorite pink and then I'm gonna put her there there this is a little bit something just like a lower crown just a little now I'm gonna gonna do the next is I'm gonna bring in I'm gonna give her blue eyes just because I I like blue eyes um, yeah you know it's one of those things isn't it when you know I have got such a dark eyes that I like dark uh, light color so what I do is I do, again water brush in here so this is from Phil Martin put it a little bit onto my um, my acrylic block and then just kind of just make sure this one there is that there isn't that much water let me put another brush in here you prepare everything to the here there is more water in here let's see yeah that's kind of a look then then do a little bit and then just blend it in just very subtly just kind of adding this color into her eyes and I just like that just a tiny touch in there and they leave everything plain so basically the color is behind and she's standing out right so then this could be of course a card and, and as it is and you could put a sentiment in there or what I've done is I've taken my acetate that comes in the pack uh, with the big collection the Alma collection or you can buy it on its own I believe there is um, yeah uh, so that one is the one that comes with the papers, the vellum, the acetate, the die cut sheet. And what I've done, just cut it in half, and then you have got a gorgeous, beautiful card. Now, it will stand nice and tall, nice and proud as well. Right, so what I'm then going to do is going to trim her. So to trim her, I'm going to do, going to take a piece. Uh, so I'm going to do it by eye. I always do it by eye, and then I regret it. But... Do as you wish. Uh, right, I'm going to do it like that. So, and then I'm going to take my trimmer. So more or less, I have left the same border around it. And by the way, Alua has got a massive YouTube channel, over 60,000 followers there. So if you want to give her a um, you know, follow or look for, uh, for her inspiration, she is really talented. And of course, it makes it worth to have a look at what she does. Now, for the speed of the demo, I'm going to just use a runner, a tape runner, and then kind of put it in here. At home, I probably will use red liner tape. And again, I would have put it uh, in the center area because then that means that you have got a little bit of blue in here so you can take some die cuts and then cover them up or you can take maybe a piece of black card or something like that to disguise it then we have got I think from uh, a center this is from the paper pad as well it's double sided but I just wanted this one and again it has got a beautiful script now you don't have to put it of course you have got plain areas that they don't have any script but this one is such a beautiful saying it says el regalo de la vida de este planeta hermoso de esta oportunidad preciosa de dejar una huella it's like the gift of life in this beautiful planet to leave an, a beautiful imprint so I think that is a really nice beautiful sentiment now actually to do this I'm going to do the black first so I'm going to place it right matting from the back so more or less it's the same area and then I'm going to put again can you see putting the always a double sided tape in the center so that way when it's a little bit smaller doesn't even show and you have got that in here now what I would do here is maybe take a piece let me show you what you can do uh, let's grab it so we have got from the same paper, that's the one that we, I trimmed this piece. You could then tr the other side and then you can trim that bit in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that bit in there. And then that's going to cut. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And you have got the constellation showing there as well. And it's, it's, oh, I love that. And you have got the acetate with the stars coming through it. And of course, what you can do then further, because of course you can always do a little bit more. Where I put my glitter, there it is. You know what? I prepare it all so well, and I just forget where I leave everything. I'm going to do in here. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue. So I'm just going to go with the tiniest amount of glue. And then I'm going to put 
little, a little bit of glitter and just kind of really literally put in little the and then get those stars sparkling like our Jimmy the director and our of course uh, Ross the producer and Kirsty you know the floor manager and and Haley presenter uh, although apparently Ross the stars is burnt burn out yeah I mean he's only like 12 but he already is like uh, no, we do not empl employ 12 years old. Let's just make it very that clear. It's just he looks well. Right. And then I just use him. <laughs> and I'm going to say what he's because he's quite funny. He's fat, hilarious. Now, of course, I'm going to put it a little bit. Of, uh, and then that's going to give us a little bit. I mean, of course, the static from... But look, I love that. Look, can you see a little bit of glitter coming through? This is slowly. Okay, look. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. That's perfect. So that is going to dry, of course, completely clear, and that glitter is going to be sparkly and beautiful. Right, so that is uh, the uh, card. Now, some of the items have got flexi, so why not find more about uh, a flexi order here at Hochenda? Leon is here to tell you more about it. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. And shows like this is so advantageous to use um, at your flexi order and don't forget you can add in things from other shows as well or things that you found on the website so don't worry about that whatever goes into your basket if it's that 60 pounds or more or you've already got an item in there then of course you can spread the cost of everything and this is a show definitely to be doing that because everything works together so well such a fabulous company as you heard there from Paula something that she's very passionate about is this wonderful brand here of a Rita Rita and of course we have now is it Alua Thib? Is that right? Alua Thib? Well, yeah, very I got good. a thumbs yeah. up for that. Um, featuring as the artist within here, um, this, well, in all the artwork that we're looking at, to be fair. These are fabulous. I mean, as you heard Paula say, we've got them together in a fabulous bundle here where you've got your £4 saving. They are available individually, so if you do want to jump onto the website, you will be able to find them. But we are going to bring those details up at the bottom of the screen. Now, 14 99 is the price that you pay for each one of these. And I love the simplicity of the design. Gives you so much scope. That's the key thing. So whether you're wanting to bring in your pens, your colouring, don't forget, 11 o'clock, we've got a show coming up featuring lots of pens that would be perfect to work alongside these. Then why not? add some of those in when we get to that hour but they are brilliant the quirkiness the fun the traditional story behind some of these pieces as well I think that's the key thing but they're just fun little characters um, and they've got huge personalities behind these as you can see there um, just love the designs love the constellation feel that's running through the entire collection as well um, I was having a little look to see if I could recognize any of the constellations featuring from some of the other elements but um, they haven't I haven't been able to find any I'm not very good with me um, astrology and things like that so uh, no astrology astronomy it's the other one isn't it <laughs> but uh, fabulous characters as you can see here a quirky little uh, kind of elements with them um, I mean that one there with the bow tie I mean so adorable if you wanted to make a really fun and funky style wedding card then that would be perfect little girl featuring in there as well and of course when you start adding your color and start adding your detail that's when these little characters really do come to life love this idea here this kind of acetate wrap that has been created and stamped with the lovely constellation elements there but of course you have got your little characters on the front um, and then of course um, other little cute cards you could be they're just so cute these little characters you can see here um, again the the hair color could be whatever color you want to make it the clothing um, and I love that never grow up it's a trap 
It's a trap it is. Stay as a child forever, even if it is just inside your head. Now, 650353, um, such a fabulous set. They really are. And, of course, um, our lovely Paola is thrilled to be able to be bringing them to you because um, they've just sort of got that quirkiness about them. Just like our little Paola. I think she's the perfect person to uh, show these after their full potential. So if you want to go for the complete set where you've got your Lost Boys, you've got your Wicked Witches, you'll be brave and you're also Wonderland within here. 52 stamps in total, my goodness, there's a lot of stamps there. Um, it's working just a little over a pound a stamp really when you look at that, isn't it? And that is really good value for money. Um, and I think you're going to love these. Now you've got two flexi order, um, sorry, flex buys on this one. Spreading the cost, £27.98. And as Janice explained to us, that means you can add anything else into your basket and spread the cost of those items as well and if you're a bit like me and you like the look of these and you want them all in one go that is the perfect way for you to shop and I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look on the website if you have just joined us we've got a brand new company here um, Rita Rita we've got the lovely Paula who's going to be demonstrating I'm going to head back over and see her in just a few moments but because of it being an overseas company um, based in Spain then uh, we are looking extended delivery with these so it's just the 12th of June which to be honest is going to be here sooner than you realize I mean that time is ticking away isn't it now the next collection I think it's beautiful I love this stepping away from the uh, the kind of the outline elements that we've seen that I absolutely adore this range the artwork is so incredibly beautiful got those lovely kind of muted tones with these pastel tones those restful tones I think that's the thing with these they have just got a lovely kind of fluid look to them the ladies the characters featuring in here has got that gorgeous look about those eyes and those eyelashes my goodness amazing and of course you've got little script elements within here that are going to build up your design the constellations again appearing here and again uh, whether they are um, realistic that first one looks like it's like a frying pan and I remember one of them being a frying pan or a saucepan I'm not very good but you go off and do your own research some of these may have a little bit of poetic license to them um, but either way it gives you the confidence potentially to make your own little constellations perhaps you could do that as well lovely characters with these stamps and you'll notice the character is going throughout the whole range we've got more to share with you so there's lots of elements that work well together you've got your little houses again featuring here and again you know how to put these together to create a, a almost like a little montage almost of your own little street with these but of course there is a lot that you're going to be able to do with these now the paper pad um, pack that you've got here isn't just about paper what you've got here you've got all sorts of different elements you've got these die cut pieces to start with um, so you can see that you can die cut and pop out these little characters right the way through and of course you're going to be able to use those then you've got the most amazing vellum now the cover sheet has just dropped away there but don't worry too much about that the vellum is beautiful you can see there you can overlay if you wanted to but the vellum has got that gorgeous um, constellation running through it as well really clever design um, and I love that almost that color wash that you've got there on the globe isn't that amazing that's something you could take inspiration from I think and perhaps create your own little backgrounds with those beautiful there quick trip around the world then you haven't even had to put your shoes on love that idea um, the next one that we've got here this is where you can see those little constellations coming through it again and I love this it's kind of like an overlay that's been created with these again all the different elements featuring here but this is a double um, this particular one has got the acetate on the front as you can see there sorry I should have mentioned that you've got your acetate with you that's not printed onto your, your paper um, the acetate there you could have a wrap around as we saw with the card a few moments ago let me bring the card back in again that gives you an idea of how you can work with that acetate of course the characters from this first set at the bottom of the screen those stamps if you want in them but the beautiful artwork that is the key thing with this range love these really really do I mean it gives you the ability to perhaps use some of your watercolor techniques alongside these maybe take inspiration from the artwork the backdrop that you've got and have a little go yourself now each one of these 12 by 12s is double-sided so you've got a beautiful image on the other side as well as you can see here you've got die cuts in here you've got your vellum sheets you've got the stamps that we've already looked at but beautiful colors nice restful easy colors I think that's the thing this is you kind of almost feel relaxed when you come with this just through the colors I mean that's the, the kind of effect color can have on the, your, your, your whole being really isn't it again you've got some there that you're going to take inspiration from perhaps just beautiful effects give you the kind of encouragement perhaps to experiment and have a little go yourself constellations again coming through here but of course you could be adding a little sparkle to those couldn't you adding a few little gems within the double side of each one of these as you can see here so just quickly going through these just to show you 
how amazingly beautiful these papers are throughout. Call them papers, I mean, they're really good weight to these. More muted tones there with the greys. Greys always work so well. And there she is again, that absolutely beautiful character there, again with the overlay of the constellations. Fabulous. Really is a fabulous bundle. We have got some 12 by 12, 12 papers available as well as a paper pad. We'll tell you the details of those in just a few moments, but I'm just knocking everything over. Just need to reset everything while you feast your eyes on here. And I love this. I mean, the uh, photograph that we've got here is a lovely alley. Just, it's just perfect, isn't it? With the little hat and the character and the alley with her hat on there as well. It just looks amazing. Really, really lovely set. Um, and of course, that is just um, just one way of using those papers that are coming within this one. I haven't even mentioned the bullet journal that you're getting in this bundle. And this is quite a substantial thing to have in a bundle for the price that we're looking at. Again, really solid quality with this one. Again, on the characters feature, you, know, you could add additional elements if you wanted to pull out some of the die cuts. But then you've got, obviously, the paper papers are going to coordinate throughout, turn it into whatever you need it to be, but of course you have got elements there to get those creative juices flowing and perhaps to get you organised, that is the key thing as you can see here. So uh, you can see all sorts of plans going on here um, and lots of lovely pages to fill here. I love this. What's on the, li the lifts there? Oh, we need some. Oh, for the cre oh, I know all about this. Cre I'm looking forward to this. Uh, oh, this project is going to be one to follow, definitely. So make sure you do keep an eye on what Paula's doing on social media because I'm sure it will evolve. Now, if you fancy this particular bundle, getting yourselves organised and having fun and getting creative at the same time, then this bundle is the one to go for. 696-740. Absolutely beautiful. Freedom members, I forgot to mention you've got a discount on this one as well. Bring it down to £62.96. So if you fancy getting hold of those, please do so. Um, I'm just going to grab that paper pad behind me, if that's okay, just to show you that. I did a little turn. Did you like that? A little turn. Always make it take the long way. Always, oh, I've gone a bit giddy now doing that. Um, now, the 12 by 12s, you'll recognise some of the papers from the set that we've just looked at at the moment. This time you're getting two repeats, and you will notice that they're single-sided. But some of them, look at that. That is incredible. Absolutely beautiful there, that page there. You're going to get two repeats of those. And that one has, well, similar one, has gone literally into a frame. You don't have to do much more than that with these, do you? Um, absolutely gorgeous throughout. And again, those gorgeous watercolour effects. Um, the background papers that are going to coordinate. I love the way that, you know, when you have your tearaway strip at the top here, you've even got a paper ribbon that's attached there. So nothing has gone to waste with this one. And you've just got those gorgeous designs coming through over and over again. If you are going for the set that we just looked at with the bullet journal, in there, then I will certainly be adding in these at $15.99. They are brilliant value for money. Um, at 662-826 if you're wanting those. So yeah, do make sure you get those in. Um, 48 sheets in there, 190 GSM. And I don't know if you can see this picture. Can you see it? Let me step back and just show you that. Look at that. And that's what I'm talking about. Just put it into a frame. You don't need to do anything more than that. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. There you go. If you fancy your 662826, um, we've got lots and lots that we're going to be sharing with you, though, so uh, don't go anywhere. Just one more bundle to share with you before we hand back and have a little look at what um, our lovely Paul is up to. And this is another lovely range. I love the fun and the humour behind this one. Um, we've got stamps to start with. So looking at the stamps here, you've got your, do, um, your two sets, as you can see. Seven stamps in total. You've got your lovely little lady there feasting on a watermelon. And then she's going to, well, you can't, haven't really got calories to burn off with watermelon, have you? But she's taking a little bite ride anyway. Um, and love spring. I mean, what a lovely sentiment to go alongside these. Lovely little idea. Again, simplicity being the key with these because it's just the fun, the, the fresh look to these that I think is the thing that's so appealing to this. And I love this. Absolutely beautiful. 1599-046-820. I've just heard we've only got 10 minutes left, so quickly going to show you the next bundle so as we can get back to see what our pal is up to. Um, and again, this is a lovely bundle. You've got loads. Die cut elements, as you can see. You've got your fabulous papers in a variety of different paper stacks. You've got your 6x8, you've got your 12x12. 12 12. You've got die cut stickers, stamps. They are all within here. Absolutely beautiful. These are all die cut, all ready there for you to use. Don't need to do anything with these. Away you go, stick them in place, put a bit of foam pads behind there, more watermelons featuring there. Beautiful. Really fun bundle. Um, lovely for the summer. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the 12 by 12 pads that you're going to get, again, there's a lot of content within here. You'll recognise things like the stamps that we were just looking at, but doesn't she look different when she's actually done... Let me just bring in... Oh, excuse me, the card that we looked at a few months ago. Looks totally different with different colouring. 
totally different. Um, again, in here you've got your 12 by 12 with all that fab fabulous content that we're seeing there um, running right the way through. Um, some of them you can add colour to if you wanted to. It's uncoated, so you've got the freedom to do that. Some of them you may want to use just as they are, but you really have got a beautiful range and lovely tones. Everything's totally correct. That's the thing that we love about this, running all the way through there. And there you go. If you're wanting to create a page, then you can do, or obviously, you fussy cut around a lady on a bike, and away you go. Did you notice as well some of those ones that have got um, a double sided finish with them as well, going through that paper pad? So, if you fancy your paper pad alongside all those die cut elements, then the details are there on your screen. And of course, you have got your stamp featuring within this bundle as well. And you'll recognise that one because it's the one that formed part of the duo a few moments ago. Just a different way of getting hold of it. 560514, everything that you've seen here has um, been put onto the website. So you can peruse at your leisure. Um, as Paula mentioned at the top of the hour, they are available individually and many of those elements, including the wonderful character stamps that we saw. So if there is something that specifically you're wanting to go for, but just on its own, that's not a problem at all. That has all been covered. Pop them into your basket, but do make sure you're checking your baskets out. It's been very, very busy. Um, brand new supplier, Rita Rita, here um, at um, Hachanda, and I've got a feeling they are going to be back. And our lovely Paula has been showcasing the products and what you can do with them. So we're going to head back over and see what Paula's up to for the next part of the show. What are you up to, Paula? Uh, well, I thought I would use uh, the beautiful, uh, you know, the, wand the Wonderland set. And then we have got it. I absolutely adore her, him, the cat. Of course, I'm going to lo love the cat. And of course, uh, the rabbit. So I thought using that stamp set, also some papers from uh, the uh, picnic collection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp, uh, I have done some preps, imagine me doing some prep. Uh, now, of course, we have got here, um, I think he's adorable. I love that he's a little bit, you know, we can recognize those characters, but of course, they are, it's an artwork by Rita, uh, by Alua Feed. It's a completely original artwork in the sense that he, she has drawn it. And it's just so gorgeous because immediately we all can think as well of people in our life that they look a little bit like this i think this one also i love that this could be a girl it could be a boy it's it's up to you how you you can see it. and then you can see there the stamps now look at those little words that you are getting as well dreamer happy kid belief in magic you know those words lost in wonderland hey good looking um i'm just saying that to to, to both of the boys and the, the of course the girls as well um there we have it ah oh, look how gorgeous he is now what i'm going to do then is of course i'm going to start uh, coloring in i'm using alcohol markers because they tend to go for those colors so i'm going to start wherever you start that is fine i like to do the bigger areas first or the, the areas that where I'm more I don't really know what I'm doing with basically because then what it means is that if you mess it up then you can always you know you can start again without having to ruin the work that you knew what you were doing I don't know if that makes any sense but now what I do is I have done with the lighter color in here and then I'm going to go with the darker one. You can do shading on in this case. I'm going to just go in and I'm going to kind of color it. Now I have to say, and I'll say, uh, Alua is an amazing color in her as well. So if you follow her on Instagram, Alua Fade, like exactly like it's a spell like this, it's Alua Fade, you will find her artwork and she's just so inspirational and she has beautiful photography as well. Then we are going to go in with the, little, the darker one as well. And, and she's much more talented than uh, as a colorist that I am. So you kind of go like that. So this is how you've kind of start coloring. And then what you end up is, oh, let, let's do the face as well. I'm going to go in. And I, see, I mix and match different um, manufacturers of alcohol markers. It's up to you which one you have. Um, most of the times they say not to mix them because, of course, they do have got slightly different, um, you know, configurations of inks and formulations. I kind of 
you know, I go with what I have, so I don't have skin tones in Copex, so then I go in with gra uh, the Graph Masters, and then I kind of go in a little bit to add some cheeks in there. So, you know, you keep coloring him. I mean, look how quickly I, it was just to color that. And then I trimmed around, and I need to do his hair, and I'm going to do red hair because I do like red hair. So I'm going to go in with the um, lighter color, so I'm going to go in there. So a little bit of them in here. And you can see I have cut, cut already to those elements. And then, and then it like that. Oh, look at that. And uh, yeah. uh, there it is. And then like that. And you see, this is depending on what coloring method you want to go. So then I'm going to go with a darker one in here. So add a little bit more. I mean, this is, he has got good hair, hasn't he? I mean, look at that. Maybe. A le I mean, I think uh, lockdown, um, you know, has made his hair a little bit like everybody else. We all need a haircut, don't we? Uh, and look at that. Just like that. Hello. Oh, look at that. A little bit longer in there and then I'm going to come in and then I think it needs a little bit of color in here so I'm going to go in with blue just a little bit of color in there now obviously I have that but I have to say that this from a start to finish what takes about five minutes because uh, I've already done it I did a, little, did a little bit of prep but well but that was not long at all and then I have the rabbit as well so what I have done is I have taken this piece from the picnic collection and then I'm going to take, what I put my tape runner? I'm such a messy crafter. I like things off of the page. I just think that they have got, especially with them, and then with them they have got such a character. And then I'm going to go in with a stripe, again from the picnic collection, and kind of a slide it there. And we will travel one day again. I mean, and then trim it the back in here and then from um we can travel together that the direct the same shall we travel together and i was like well we can right and then i have done again from the same pad these these uh, it's a beautiful dotty paper and it's the sort of paper that is very useful to have because then you can cut a banner there and then i think i'm gonna put him there and then here look at that so there, I like that. And this is like, this is the thing about these collections. No, they all also mix and match. You don't need to, oh, what it needs though, is a little bit of edging in here, black edging, just a little bit, just to make it a stand up. And again, the papers are from the picnic collection, and then I'm using the uh, Wonderland set there. I like that. It just kind of adds a little bit of that this shovel look that it has got now oh because i want to of course i want to sh mm, now i want to see england and i want to see spain so i'm going to put her so by the way uh, alua lives around here well it says that's el ferrol galicia up here northwest so that's that's where it is uh right and i was born around here and I grew up in here, in that little dot. Anyway, too much information. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of that. And then it needs a sentiment. By the way, I kind of, of course, I smashed it because that. But don't worry if that happens. So I'm going to say belief in magic because I think these days we need a lot of belief in magic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the back of this paper. And I'm going to take my... Memento ink. Uh, by the way, uh, I have used Memento ink for the uh, alcohol markers, but you can use hybrid as well. Believe in magic. There it is. That's perfect. And then I'm going to trim it to side. And then I'm going to do a bit of a little bit like that. And then that will go there. So I like that. I really like that. So I'm going to take my foam pads that I have got here. I've got the bigger ones, I like them, the bigger ones. Okay, and then, and then put that in here. And just put it there, in here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of foam, another foam pad 
in here and another pump up in there and that is going to create that oh i love and, and you can then do what what uh leone always or or, or Lou with says to do. By the way, check out your baskets for these amazing, uh, gorgeous uh, collections. And remember, those stamps are part of the bundle, bundle, but you can buy them also individually. By the way, shall we give a wave to Haley? <laughs> Thank you so much, Haley. Beautiful, I loved it. <laughs> Let's manage to finish the cards. Oh, there. I love, I love these stamps and please do check them out. Remember that you can buy them individually if you want to do that. Uh, $14.99, the details are at the bottom of the screen. Of course, the bundle uh, has got the saving. Do go check out the website for everything that we have got. And thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you enjoy your Alua Feed by Rita Rita uh, collections. Whether it's the papers, the stamps or everything together, it all makes it mixes. We have got Craft Trade after the break, then we have got Sakura, and then Tim Holtz One Day Special. I wonder if there is any stock left of that Marbles or the S. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of dare I say beautiful top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, so, so
in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Very good morning to you and welcome to an hour of craft treat with the lovely Jo Channon who will be joining me on uh, some video footage and hopefully I'll be able to have a chat with her this morning as well on the phone. Um, and this is uh, brought to you by Oakwood Archer. So we've got some fantastic stencils in our bundle and some brilliant grey board as well if you like to use that for your mixed media. So please feel free to shop ahead. Uh, so let me show you the first bundle and we've got some gorgeous samples from the team on uh, the show as well. So this is two of the eight four and two of the uh, four by eight and so you've got as you can see you've got, got that mixed media let me lift that up for you mixed media field you've got the butterflies you've got that crisscross uh, the, the wording, the stamping there, the flowers, postage stamp. So lots and lots of different elements of that huge A4 stencil that you can use. Moving across there, we've got the beautiful birds, the music, again, the postage stamp. So it's a really eclectic collage that you can use elements of or just go for broke and use the whole thing because it'd make a fantastic background. So that's your two large A4 stencils, which are brilliant for coverage. And then we've got the butterflies, always very popular, and some pretty borders there with the, the diamonds there and there's uh, little motifs and then you've got the hummingbird and I, I like the hummingbirds across from it there because the hexagonal honeycombs that we've got there on there as well and kind of that edginess and geometric shape and sizing in there as well so really really beautiful lots of variation uh 1899 so if we have a little look gorgeous and this is well actually this is an example of the gray board as well so uh Oh, is that using those embossing um, gels? No? So there's a craft paste there, texture paste, yeah. Well, I'll ask Jo when she... Yeah, because we've got those enamels, haven't we? Uh, oh, well, hello. Jo's already on the phone. Jo, good morning. I am. I'm here. Good morning. Hello. Sorry, I'm going to do this because I can... Oh, I know everybody at home can hear you. I can barely hear you. How are you, Jo? Yes, I'm really, really good, thank you. Yes. Yeah, excellent, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. I'm always always better to hear from you, though. Um, oh, I'm very yeah. well, thank you. Can you tell me about Craft Tree? Because I think I said when I was emailing you that I'd not... Who, who are Craft Tree? Right, so Craft Tree are actually um, an Indian company. Oh. And um, the lovely lady that actually owns it, runs it, is um, called Priya. And um, she is a crafter herself, first and foremost, I might admit. And um, she has a lovely team that um, do um, back her up with lots of different um, ideas and uh, designs. So it's lovely. Now, uh, they are from India, but they are distributed by Oakwood Archer. So, of course, there's no delay in dispatch. So uh, they are coming from our lovely town of Nottingham. So that'll be fabulous. Uh, so take them really nice and quickly. Um, they, um, what I love about Craft Treat is, uh, because she is actually a crafter, obviously she knows what we want. And those samples are just incredible. They're just packed, aren't they? Really are. And what have you used? Through, I was just talking about, what did you use? What, was it a texture paste you used through for this one that you can see on the I screen heard. now? Yeah, so what I did was I actually went over first through the whole stencil. I was hard picked, to be quite honest, on this particular one, just to choose elements, because I think the, the whole picture is just so lovely. So I went through the whole thing with, um, with uh, structure paste, as you know, all the mediums that I, I tend to use. And then I went through with um, some um, inks, but over the top to highlight the birds, I've actually used holographic 3D gel which is a that's crafty product and you'll see me in on the dandelion further down the counter um, and um, it just what it does is it highlights just certain areas in the stencil that you want to focus your eye on mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It is lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Like you said, there's so much, yeah. there's so much in those stencils. Joe, I'm going to um, have a look at your videos. I'm sorry to say goodbye, but it's a bit of a bad it's line no in terms of yeah, in terms of hearing you, my darling. But we've got your footage, obviously, working with these stencils. So thank you for that, and uh, hope you have a thank good you. weekend, Joe. Thank you, and you. That's lovely to talk to you, Fiona. Bye. And you, darling. Bye bye. Bye-bye. So we've got some fantastic uh, videos, obviously, from Joe. Sorry about the bad line there. It's, it sometimes happens. But uh, let's have a look at the Nether Set stencils as well from Craft Tree. Uh, again, absolutely beautiful. So we've got our A4. We've got three of the A4 in this case and one 4 by 8 So there's sort of a dancing theme, as you can see, with that lovely candelabra, that lovely flourish and the swirl. It's almost like a beautiful wallpaper in the background. Bejeweled, isn't it? I love that sweep. So it's also sort of 1920s holiday at Ho Hollywood, sorry. And uh, the cello there, she's very versatile, that ballerina dancing with the cello, isn't she? Uh, and then we've got all these different elements, segments of as well, uh, from the guitar to the bird to the butterfly to the flourish to the script work there. So very versatile stencil, that one. And you can see from Joe's uh, and the team's examples how detailed, you know, if you're using your texture paste, how detailed these stencils really uh, give you on, on whether you're using card or uh, paper or, or, or whatever medium. Yeah, your mixed media journals. Lovely pendants there. Yeah, maybe your furniture, maybe your upcycling table um i i don't know where anything really some of the bigger projects as well your fabric paint as well lovely elegant chair there and i love that honeycomb at the bottom and then we've got this almost it's almost i suppose what do you call it a um i think of the word yeah the dress form mannequin thank you there we go and the measuring tape there in the background isn't that beautiful the words just escape me today. You have days like that. I mean, just the brain and the mouth is just not engaged. So let's just have a look. So this one is the couture with the flourish and the script. So very beautiful and elegant in the black and white. I love that. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous how it comes to life? Um, and then, as you can see, on the grey canvas, we've got the dance uh, there and on the grey. And I think this is one that uh, Joe is actually going to be demonstrating on the show today as well. Isn't that beautiful? So that is your next option, 1999, the dance, the royal chair, and the bits and pieces, 938193. Moving on to another set of stencils there from Craft Treat. Uh, this is all oh, very elegant. It's almost like a Rolls Royce we've got here. And the cogs, always very popular, and the compass there as well. So again, you can use it all as one. And again, I, I love this. There's not even an inch of, of stencil there that isn't used. Love the keys that, that are part of the compass there. That fantastic, lovely sort of vintage feel to this one. And then moving along again, that lovely telesized script work. Again, we've got the clocks and cogs. And again, lovely sort of borders and movement there. I like that a lot. Yeah, that is beautiful, isn't it? And another A4 stencil then as well, sort of more geometric shapes. Again, great collection there of the cogs as well. The checkerboard, uh, the dice, the dominoes, as, as it were. Really beautiful, a lovely eclectic mix, isn't it? And finally, you'd still get your four by eight in there as well. So loads of variety in this bundle of our stamp and our writing and our bouquet, as it were. Yeah, Bangarin Gwinnett. Uh, let's have a little look. So again, this is the vintage car, and this is using, this is what I was trying to talk about earlier, the embossing enamels, which we have got on the show, and hopefully we'll see that. Stamp Henderson embossing enamels. Isn't that lovely as well if you were doing a gentleman's card or uh, something a little bit more uh, male orientated and then if i show you this one as well this is using the stamp enders uh enamels as well you've got the steampunk butterfly on the gray board which we've got on the show which could take so much and uh, those embossing enamels and that's using the cogs as well not lovely 1999-101658. Okay, quite a few different stencils on the show. That's what we've got from Craft Tree. Uh, this is uh, another A4, and uh, you've got some of the uh, the 4 by 8 there and the 6 by 6s at the bottom. So our, our big centerpiece there is that beautiful poppy uh, with the postage stamps and almost like a ledger background there. And then... Moving across to the 4x8, sort of more of a damask sort of background there. Could be an ornament, could be a bauble, a little trifle there in the middle. And then down to...